Close your eyes. Be sensitive to the breath. Notice where you feel the breathing process in the body. Not so much the air coming in and out through the nose, but the movement of the abdomen, the movement of the chest. Any place in the body where you sense that you can tell now the breath is coming in, now the breath is going out. Let your attention settle there. And then ask yourself if it's, if it's comfortable. You can try longer breathing, shorter breathing, just to see what would be more comfortable. Faster, slower, heavier, lighter, deeper, more shallow. Keep experimenting until you find something you like, then stay with it. This becomes a good foundation for the mind inside. Where you're more likely to want to listen to the Dharma. If you're feeling irritable and tired or tense, sometimes you don't want to hear the Dharma. You want to hear something that's soothing, something that pleases you. But a lot of the lessons of the Dharma are things that are not all that pleasing. So you have to tune your radio so it's willing to listen to the channel of the Dharma. Because the Dharma is being broadcast all the time. There's that famous story of a senior monk from Bangkok who went to visit a John Mun one time, who was a little dubious about the forest tradition. So he asked a John Mun, that I live in Bangkok with lots of educated monks who know all the Pali Canon. And even there, there are times when I come up with a question that nobody can answer. What do you do out in the forest where there's nobody to go to to ask, ask, answer your questions? Where do you hear the Dharma? And John Mun said, I hear the Dharma 24 hours a day, except when I'm asleep. As for going to other people for answers, I found the best place is to train the mind so I can find the answers inside. As for listening to the Dharma, he said, a bird sings and you can tell there's some stress in the bird's heart. Leaves fall from the trees, the truth of inconstancy. The Dharma is always broadcasting itself. The senior monk was taken aback as well, and it shows you know how to listen. And that's how we find the Dharma, because it's always being broadcast all the time. The truths are true everywhere. It's simply a question of whether we're interested in learning the truth or we have other agendas. If you're interested, that channel is always broadcasting. So tune your radio so you're willing to listen to what the Dharma has to say. And you'll find that it has a lot of good lessons for you. Sometimes they may not be what you like, but we're not here for what we like. We're here for what gives the best results in the long term. As the Buddha said, that's a sign of your discernment. When you realize there's something you'd like to do, but it's going to get bad results, you know how to talk yourself out of doing it. As for things you don't like to do but give good results, you learn how to make yourself want to do them. That's a sign of real wisdom. In other words, you know how to keep your mind in line and keep focused on that question of long-term results. That's what you listen for. That's what you look for. And the lessons, as I said, are being broadcast all the time, so tune your receivers in. And you have a Dharma talk all day long.